Hello everyone, this is Brandon again, all the way from Chile, and today we're gonna be doing a video about the Shelly button. So, I'll see you there. And here it is the Shelly button. As we can see on the box, it uses 2.4 UHz uh, Wi-Fi. A remote Wi-Fi switch and let's open it. And as we can see right here, it comes with all the instructions and here is the device. It looks pretty pretty good. You can be carrying it around and placing it in different places in your house. It has this USB micro USB port to keep it charged and something important that you need to know is that you can actually take out the, the back of the of the device you can do this in order to reset the device when not connected to the Wi-Fi so we can see the battery here and if we take the battery right there we can see a small bottom that we can press for 10 seconds in order to reset the device. Then we need to do the usual and connect to the Shelly app. If we go to find devices, uh, we connect to our Wi-Fi and use the Shelly button. We join the network and we just wait. I would recommend to maintain the device connected to the charger so we won't have any issues while connecting it to the shell app. Now we can see that it connects to our Wi-Fi and we have to refresh the page and wait for it to recognize the device. So as we can see right there, I had it on the my discover devices and now I can just add the device to my to my shell app. I can also add it to the cloud to make sure I can use it uh, without internet on my phone. And here we can see how the device work. I'm gonna add a link to all the commands that Shelly has. So in this case I use my IP for my relay and I had it at uh, the turn toggle. So every time I, I press the button it's gonna turn on or turn off. So you can see here um, my light is connected to my relay so when I press the button it will turn on and if I do it again it will turn off well and that was today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and we learned how to use the Shelly button so I'll see you in the next one